Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Here is episode three of the Simple Cube Ultra printer. So I have about almost eight hours of print time on this now. I have the electronics wired up, I built the config, all that kind of stuff. You can see a print here on the bed. This is a new mechanical part for this printer. So far the printer's excellent. Um, I couldn't be more happy, happier with it. It's printing very well. One thing I want to point out here is, this is a feature that you can see right now. I actually have this printer always dock the bed down on the bottom here. And this prevents the bed from getting out of skew too much. My three point tramming is meant to make the bed level, not prevent like a skew tilt like this bad and then try to correct it to go flat. The bed's never gonna get be skewed this much. All that my three point tramming is meant to do is make a flat build surface parallel to the nozzle, which it does. So I always see demonstrations of printers on YouTube and they'll show off, you know, tramming and the bed will be tilted like this and it'll tram it till it's level. Well, that's really awesome, but show me your first layer. Uh, your, your bed's never going to be tr like tilted this much in a printer. If your bed's constantly getting that out of whack, you got more problems than uh, first layer. So... Uh, that's that's what happens in my printer. I have G-code set up so that after every print, the bed goes all the way down. And it actually is going to rest on these. I actually made a ledge here purposely for this. So that the bed can actually go down and, and dock onto a ledge. And this is essentially flat already for the most part. So it'll, low, it'll raise up. It'll tram the three points. It'll tilt it if necessary. And it'll print. So that's working out awesome. Tramming's working out awesome. I hope to have a demonstration of that here pretty soon. Um, so for print speeds and that type of thing, I've been printing this at 80 millimeters a second. And I have my acceleration set to 1500. So nothing uh, crazy fast. Um, definitely more than a stock printer for sure. And I'm very happy with that speed for now. I'm already thinking about redesigns for this printer. Um, there's some things that I would like to change. I really would like to move these motors to the inside, these inside corners here. I think um, I could make this part look a lot nicer. It would have much more rigidity here. I can move everything into the inside the frame. I would like to even move these down to the side here. Mount the linear rails on the side instead of the top. Uh, of course, want to move these into the corner here, make that much nicer. I am redesigning the Z's. So I'm not happy with uh, the zip ties here and uh, the tensioner here. I'm completely redoing this. I have a new part here. It integrates a bunch of different parts. So this piece is integrated into the part now. It's much stronger. I have a new tensioning mechanism which actually tensions the stepper motor down, which will automatically tension the belt much, much better. I'm also redesigning these pieces here so that the belt actually sandwiches in between the linear rail and this part. No more zip ties, much, much, much easier. You can see the new part right here. I'm also raising this up five millimeters just so I can get a little bit more height on my build plate. Um, these are kind of at the very end of the length when they get to the top there, just enough to start printing. So I'm just raising the bed up five millimeters from this point. I also uh, didn't show this off last time, but you can unbolt the actual uh, double-sided portion from the printer so you can still take this bed out and do maintenance and that type of thing on it. Even though we're VHB taping the glass directly to this, you can still unbolt this and still take the bed out and you don't have to constantly be undoing the tape and stuff like that, so. Yeah, that's a quick overview here on this part of it. I am gonna show you um, some print quality here in just a moment. 
I'm not going to talk about the electronics right now. I have this just very temporarily wired up here. Um, I have no SSR yet for this. I don't have a heater. This is just PLA printing directly on painter's tape, obviously. So, yeah, if you have any comments on this, definitely uh, comment below. Uh, I would like suggestions. Like I say, I would really like to move all these things on the inside of the frame, make it look even cleaner. I think this is a really good uh, start and I'd like to take it further just to make it even uh, cleaner looking. So let's move on to some print quality. Okay, let's take a print uh, look at print quality here. So here we have a typical 20 millimeter calibration cube. So as you can see, the print quality on this printer is awesome. I'm really, really happy with how it's printing. I do have a little bit of under extrusion on the top here, but I mean, that's mostly slicer tuning. Um, I haven't done a whole lot yet on this printer, so I got to do some tuning there, but really, really nice. There's no ringing or anything yet. Um, again, I am printing pretty slow, um, but it still, it still prints quite quickly. This uh, calibration cube takes about 14 minutes to print. This is at 0 0.28 layer height, so very thick layers. I wanted to show off the layer lines really well on this. So this is at 0.28 layer height, like I say. Again, really awesome, very, very happy with that. My next normal print that I usually print is a Cali Cat here. Excellent part cooling from the Voron Stealth Burner. This one I printed at 200 uh, for a temperature and I have recently went down to 195. There was a little bit of a cooling issue just right here, kind of on the back. And uh, I think I was printing just a little bit too hot. Again, you can see a little bit of under extrusion here on the top. Um, I do need to calibrate my extrusion. Uh, I think I'm uh, under extruding just a hair. But again, uh, really awesome print quality. Very, very happy with this. Looks excellent. Details are really nice. Cooling's really nice. Bridging's very nice. Again, this is at 0 0.28 layer height. And then the next print, the Benchy. So for this print, I actually went down to a very fine 0.15 layer height. This is a super, super fine detail uh, print. Again, it turned out really, really, really nice. I'm very happy with it. You can see the seam here. Very, very nice print quality. I'm very happy with this printer. Again, I didn't change the speed on any of these. This is still 80 millimeters a second, and this is at 1500 acceleration and clipper. And then for kind of the final uh, print here, I always like to print one of these low poly uh, Pokemon. So we have a Bulbasaur here. Again, a really, really nice print. Features are really nice and sharp. Very, very happy with this. And then let's just pull off this print from the bed here. Okay, well, I accidentally broke that, but I'll show it off anyways. So uh, this is just kind of a mechanical part. Definitely should be more careful when I take it off the bed, but that's okay. So again, this is my new part here. Uh, the belts are going to sandwich between this and the linear rail. No more zip ties, nothing like that. And I've already increased the height of this by uh, five millimeters. So again, like really nice. Everything's really nice and sharp. Corners are super sharp. Holes look excellent. Yeah, so uh, there's some uh, examples of print quality. And um, I'll show you here a kind of print demonstration of this part being printed. And here's a quick video on print speed. This is a mechanical part for this printer. So as, this, as discussed previously, I'm printing at 80 millimeters a second with 1500 as my acceleration. So nothing special, not crazy fast or anything like that, but uh, you know, definitely not Ender 3 slow or anything like that.
There we go. Thanks for watching the video, everyone. Definitely like and subscribe, and if you have any comments below, let me know.